Well, the case against Bay, two Baytown officers charged with assaulting a man during a traffic stop in 2019 has been dismissed. That after the Harris County District Attorney's Office completed a pretrial diversion program. ABC 13's Alex Bozjarjian is live outside the Harris County Criminal Justice Center with what this d d dismissal actually means. Alex? Alex? Mal, neither Samuel Surrett nor Teddy Sims can ever be a police officer in Texas again. They voluntarily handed over the licenses that allow them to do so. The Harris County Prosecutor's Office tells me that in these kinds of situations, it's really hard to prosecute, and essentially this is best case scenario. Do you feel closure? Oh, no, I feel a lot worse than, than the night it actually happened. <laughs> This is a snapshot of Kedrick Crawford's run-in with Baytown police back on July 6th of 2019. I was telling myself, oh, sir, please don't kill me. Officers claimed he was acting suspiciously and claimed he resisted when they went to arrest him. Crawford was consequently thrown to the ground, tased, hit, and choked. I was scared they were probably going to start shooting me. The severity of Crawford's injuries following that interaction can be seen in his booking photo, which he gave us permission to show. Former Baytown police officers Samuel Surrett and Teddy Sims approached Crawford that night when he was pulled over in an HEB parking lot on Garth Road. They were also accompanied by a jailer named Shane Dunlap. He can be seen wearing civilian clothes. They asked me, could they search my vehicle? I know I wasn't doing anything wrong, so I gave him consent to search my car. While searching his car, Baytown police officers say they found small bags of pills. However, he was only charged with assaulting a police officer sent to a jail for the first time with his eyes swollen shut, made to maneuver through the jail blind. The charge against Crawford was dropped a few months after the incident. Two years later, Sims, Surrett and Dunlap were all charged with aggravated assault in connection to the incident. And I was elated when we got warrants for their arrest. On Friday, court documents show charges against Sims and Surrett were dismissed. The deal was dependent upon both completing a pretrial diversion program. They also voluntarily handed over their licenses to be police officers in Texas. In a statement, the Harris County District Attorney's Office said in part, these men will never again be allowed to wear a badge or disgrace the uniform of a Texas law enforcement officer. It seems as if they got a better deal than I got. Dunlap, the jailer in this situation, is still facing charges. Now, Crawford's attorney says they do have a civil rights claim that is pending in federal court, but she describes that situation as a David and Goliath situation. Live tonight in downtown Houston, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.